Number seven on our countdown is Harvey, a Doberman who turned out to be quite a handful for his owners who did no research on his breed prior to buying him. Bill and Jane Wallace and their two daughters were looking for the perfect low maintenance companion for their sweet Shih Tzu lady. I used to be able to go to the gym and spend half the day there um, and then maybe do a little bit of shopping. But instead, they got Harvey, a dog they thought was completely dominating. Sadly, Harvey developed severe separation anxiety that caused him to urinate all over the house. Yes, I am Mrs. Mop. I've never mopped so much in all my life. So Jane kept him locked in the kitchen. On the occasions he was allowed outside, he was out of control, bullying other dogs. He's a big thug, including the family's favourite, Lady. <laughs> Mum's become a lot more stressed since we got Harvey. You're just ridiculous. It was imperative that Jane step up and make an effort with Harvey if he were to have any chance at success. I don't think you've given him the direction that he needs. I think you've given up on him. And I think Harvey has become to you just an annoying dog. Life was a lot better when he wasn't here. And I think you are trying to make up for that by being the one that gives him all the affection, gives him the attention. You have to take a step back. You have to take a step forward. Um, and be on exactly the same page, because in the end, Harvey does not speak English. He talks dog. Training, I think, is going to be very hard for them, especially for Jane, because she's given up, and it's going to take a lot to motivate her again. The first step I took was tackling Harvey's separation anxiety. It was at its worst when Bill left for work. I'm going to wait a minute. A couple of, actually, just like 10 seconds, and then we're going to go back in again. OK, let's do it again. To help alleviate Harvey's anxiety, my plan was to show Harvey that Bill would be back and that his leaving wasn't permanent. The following day, I decided it was time to socialise Harvey with dogs his size. A face-to-face -face greeting could be dangerous, so I took control and outfitted Harvey with a muzzle. <laughs> minutes I continued to introduce Harvey to Poppy until he no longer saw the dog as a threat. This is amazing that he's walking closer to a dog than he's ever done and that he is not being as reactive. Harvey was showing some real promise so we added another dog to the mix and Bill took the reins. I am so pleased because this gives me confidence that in the future he's going to have some doggy friends. That's so important. In a remarkably short time, Harvey went from being overbearing and reactive to showing signs of becoming a docile and more sociable dog, most importantly, a friend to Lady. I'm pleased with him that he just wants to play and he's not being aggressive. His separation anxiety was also beginning to subside. It's a real relief to see that this family is no longer divided over their dog. Their equal, more balanced approach to Harvey is the real recipe for success. Months later, I learned that Bill and Jane had stopped training completely. As you know, there's one thing that I stress time and time again. It's imperative for owners to reinforce the training long after I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs>